Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. Now, a lot of you are using standard formats out there to uh, create your drawings. One of the drawbacks of formats in an extent is they, you know, there's some limited functionality. It is basically a format. And anything you add to the format, really you're kind of stuck with when you use that uh, format to create a drawing. Well, for example, I've got a format up here and let's put a symbol on it. I'll pop it right here, right by the title block. So you can see that there. Now let's use this format to create a new drawing. So we'll say we want to create a new drawing. Name's not important for us. Let's browse and put a some sort of model in there. And let's use the format that we have. And we'll create that. So I've got my new drawing. I've got the model tree here. You can see there's a model in there. And there's that symbol we put on the format. Well, there's no way I can get rid of that. I'm stuck with that. What if we have certain items that we really used from time to time on a drawing, but maybe they're not always used? Now, people have done that with symbols and notes and other things, but what if you could format that in a standard way where you'd have those things available for you? Well, let's close this drawing. Let's go back to our format here. And let's get rid of that symbol. The next step in the evolution is from drawing formats is something called a, a drawing template. Now, a drawing template works the same way as a start part works for parts and assemblies, but it gives you more functionality. Format, like I said, doesn't really have any options, doesn't have layer functionality. You're kind of stuck with what you've got. So what I've got here is a drawing template. Now, a drawing template, it really is just a specific type of drawing. I can place the format on it, but I can do other optional items. A drawing template also has layer functionality, so you can create rules, rule-based layers for things you're going to create on a drawing that you might want to have on their own layer, something you couldn't build into a format. Also, you can do optional items. Like here, for example, I've got an unreleased note that we might not use on all of our drawings, but if I build it into this template, if somebody uses this template to create their drawing, instead of them having to hunt for the symbol and paste it on and wonder if they have it in the right place, they'd have it right there in their template. So let's go ahead and create a new drawing using the template instead. And again, we'll use that same model we looked at before, just for consistency's sake. Now instead of a format, I'm going to say I want to use a template. I'm going to browse, I'm going to grab the one in our working directory we've been working on that I just showed you. Now when that's done, it looks the same. It's filled out the bits of the format. The format is there, but I've got some options now. If I change to the layer tree in the lower left, not only do I have these model uh, layers, but I've also got some of the option things. So if I created this drawing here and said, you know what, I need that unreleased note. I just hide that layer, and that shows up. Maybe I uh, have a... Um, some sort of a, there's, I've got a rivet table. I unhide that, and that shows up exactly where I need it. So it's a way, basically, bottom line, is to build a lot of options into a drawing that I can't place on a format, because anything placed on the format is permanent. I set up these uh, layer structures. Maybe I've got a reduced dimension note. Unhide that, and I've got that as well. So let me reset this for you so you can see the whole things. So basically, it's a way of making these optional. So I'm not having everybody hunt for symbols to paste them on, hoping they put them in the right place, hoping they find the right symbol. I'm building this into a template so they can add and subtract things they want on their drawing from a list of standard items by just turning on and off some layers. Now, if you have any questions on this or anything else, you can contact me or anyone else at EAC Product Development Solutions or leave a comment under this video and we'll reply to you. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.